What's up everyone, Jeff with Polar Pro, and today I'm gonna to show you some of our new Osmo pocket mounts and my five favorite ways to use them. First mounting position, I've got it attached right here to the side of the car, and I like to use this as B-roll to kind of transition from one scene to the next scene. And I'm using our new action mount to connect it to the GoPro suction mount. Some people might not be comfortable mounting the Osmo Pocket to the side of the car, but today we're only going about 40 miles an hour, so I'm perfectly comfortable with that. And I've got it lined up, so it's gonna get about half the truck in frame, half the road in frame. It might get pummeled with snow, but it might also look really cool, so let's try it out. Wow, should be pretty good today. I'm gonna get my skis on, head to the next location and show you my favorite mount. So my favorite new mount is our tripod mount, which is perfect for those locked off shots, just like this one right here. It allows you to attach the Osmo to any tripod and then also throw on a quarter, an extra quarter 20 for like a light or a microphone. And the minimalistic design of the tripod mount fits really nicely in your hand, so it's a cool little compact run and gun setup. Well, okie dokie, let's go ahead to another spot and I'll show you another new way to mount your Osmo Pocket. And the next new way you can mount your Osmo Pocket is to a helmet. And while this is not gonna be as immersive as a GoPro because it's a little more narrow depth of field, you can still get some pretty cool, cool B-roll shots to you know, transition from point A to point B or just good cutaway shots. I've got it mounted to the action mount and I've got it kind of vertically horizontal or vertically aligned. I've got it vertically positioned here and that's gonna allow me to lock it in FPV mode so the camera kind of follows my line of sight as I cruise down these trees. Ooh, it's pretty good out here today. So the next mount we have here is the pole mount. And I like to use the pole mount because it gives you a little more like immersive feeling rather than just hand holding it. And remember what I said where the Osmo Pocket has a pretty narrow depth of field so you do need a longer extension pole to kind of get everything in frame, similar to how a GoPro would look. And we've got the action mount connected to the GoPro pole mount. Now let's run a few more lines through the trees. All right, let's head back, take these skis off, put some snowshoes on, and I'll show you the fifth new way to mount your Osmo Pocket. And the fifth new way to mount the Osmo Pocket is with the action mount and the strap mount. And I really enjoy this because it keeps the Osmo Pocket right here, ready to go if I'm out hiking or snowshoeing with the dogs. It keeps it right here, unlock it, and you can be handheld filming in seconds. You could also use it as a little POV cam right here, but like we were talking about before, it's gonna be a pretty narrow field of view. Well, I hope these new mounting ideas give you some inspiration to get out there and capture some new angles. Be sure to check out that link below and see the full line of mounts and filters for the Osmo Pockets. I'm Jeff with Polar Pro. I'll see you on the next one.